The overall goal of this procedure is to destroy a tumor and an appropriate margin of normal tissue around the tumor in a safe and minimally invasive manner. This is accomplished by first reviewing a patient's images and overall health to determine plan of care and candidacy for ablation. Using imaging guidance, strategically place applicators into the tumor. Then apply enough thermal energy to destroy the tumor and an appropriate margin of normal tissue. Finally, with immediate and serial follow-up imaging, confirm that the tumor has been completely destroyed. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show complete destruction of the tumor in situ with only minimal associated invasiveness and few complications. The main advantage of this technique over other methods such as surgical resection is that image-guided tumor ablation is less invasive. As a result, it is associated with fewer complications and a much more rapid recovery time, and yet in certain patients can be just as effective as surgery. While thermal ablation can be used to treat many tumors in the liver, it can also be used to treat tumors in other locations, such as the kidney, lung, and bone. Several energy sources are available for thermal ablation. High temperature sources include radiofrequency electrical current, microwaves, lasers, and focused ultrasound. Generally, individuals that are new to this technique will struggle because the technique that you apply varies from case to case. Uh, although in every case, your overarching goal is going to be tumor destruction. The way that you meet that goal, the techniques that you use are very heterogeneous, and that can be a challenge. This case presents a 50-year-old woman with a history of retroperitoneal leiomyosarcoma that was previously resected. She had both liver and lung metastases which had responded well to chemotherapy, with the exception of a single hepatic lesion.